from deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex. It is Saturday, the 15th of June. I'm Scott the Steenroller Steen, and this is the Deep Three. As always, if you guys would be so kind as you do every other day of the week, take a moment, smash that like button, give us a thumbs up. I salute your efforts, and of course, Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, get notified. All that works out in your favor. That way you don't miss any videos. And, of course, if you haven't checked out winnersandwiners.com, you absolutely should. It is the best place on the interwebs to check out previews and predictions of every game going on in America every single day. Best part about it is not only is it a great resource, it is absolutely free. So check it out, winnersandwiners.com. Grab some premium plays while you're out there or... Use the link in the description of today's video and get to some of my premium picks, all right? So, first of all, let's talk about yesterday's video. Uh, mainly, where the hell is it? Because it's not there. Um, I did it, and I'll, I'll give you, and I know you guys, uh, you see my technical acumen, and I know you immediately question that I did something wrong. However, in this case, it's a rarity because it's not my fault. Uh, I did a video... Uh, by the way, the video was on the Padres-Mets game. Uh, we took uh, Matt Waldron and the Padres to get it done against the Mets, as we record right now. Uh, four ratings have been completed, and the Mets are up 2 nothing. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. I do not know what happened to the video. I, it, 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 here's how it goes. I post the video. I, I shoot it, uh, edit, do the description, and I post it. All right? And then I send the link to uh, the guy that works with the video cappers, to put those the cool little thumbnail on there. So if, sometimes if you get the video real quick, you'll just see the thumbnail of me. Uh, and then if, later in the evening and the next day, you'll see the thumbnail with my stock photo and the game. So anyway, uh, don't know. Uh, it was up and now it's down. I don't know if YouTube didn't like it. I didn't do anything differently. I didn't play any music in the background. Don't know. Apologies. We'll see what happens with the Padres. In the meantime... So I can make it up to you, to you by taking three plays here today. As always, we've got uh, we've got a couple plays that we really like, and then of course uh, we do have one dog um, that uh, we're gonna we're gonna back. And by the way, if you guys have uh, been checking out our uh, dog of the day, um, we've got a little winning streak going there, uh, as well as our late night locks. Uh, both of those have been doing really well. So if you want to get on the mailing list, uh, just sign up with Winners and Winners, and we'll make sure that you get informed about those. All right, so without further ado, let's uh, start it off uh, with uh, one of my favorites, one of my favorite pitchers. You guys uh, know my feelings on this gentleman as the St. Louis Cardinals invade Wrigley Field to take on the Cubs. We're going to play the total here of 8.5. We are going to play under as Palente goes against Imanaga. Um, my, like I said, my position on Imanaga is well-established, man crush. Uh, and even though he hasn't looked quite as sharp in two of his last three, you know what? He's still second in the National League in ERA with a 1.96 mark. And he's seen the under hit in eight of his 11 starts. Palente, uh, he's a converted reliever that has re uh, really pitched well. Uh, he's made three starts for the Cards after uh, probably 15, 16 relief appearances. And he has given up zero runs in two of those three starts. Um, I don't trust either one of these teams to score. Both of these teams have solid pens. Uh, there is a little wind in Wrigley Field. It is blowing pretty much from right to left, blowing out of the southeast, if you know Wrigley Field. Um, not going to be a huge factor if it does affect the balls at all. It's going to blow everything into that deep well. So you know what? We're getting eight and a half here. I'll take it. Give me the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, Chicago Cubbies, under eight and a half. Um, staying on the uh, eastern side of the country as the Yankees come to Beantown to take on the uh, Boston Red Sox. We're going to play the Yankees on the run line here at minus 103 against the Sox. Carlos Rodon goes for the pinstripers against Criswell for Boston. Um, you know, the Yankees have just been an absolute wagon lately. I watched them uh, pretty much dominate the Royals. The Royals were able to sneak the final game of that four game set out, but you know what? Uh, Yankees played good baseball, beat the shit out of them uh, three out of those four games. And uh, that's not unusual because they've won 12 of their last 15. And Carlos Rodon has been a huge part of that. 
winning 11 of his 14 starts, including the last seven in a row. Not only that, but they have been winning his starts with authority. They have covered the run line in all seven of those wins with an average margin of victory around 4.6 runs per game. Criswell, you know what? He's been fine, but this is a Red Sox team that still has a few holes, uh, and that is still a few more holes than the Yankees have. Because if you look at that Yankees lineup, right now, they have zero. They pretty much have zero holes. So uh, give me a Yankees run line at minus 103. Uh, by the way, as they record this, it's the uh, seventh inning, and they're currently up 5-1. to one. So that domination has, uh, it looks like at least, is continued tonight as well. And finally, we're going to finish it up with a dog. Uh, didn't have a lot of dogs that I love, so we're going to take a small dog here. Like a, We're going to take like a Chihuahua. Um, we're going to Miami, plus 105, over the Washington Nationals. Trevor Rogers goes for the fish against DJ Hers for the uh, uh, Nationals. I know it's Hers. Um, it's uh, Miami plus 105. Uh, you know what? Neither one of these pitchers is going to be on the Cy Young watch list, but at least Rogers uh, looks like a major league pitcher about 60% of the time. And that's about 60% more than Hertz, who has been shelled in both of his starts. Since coming up from the minors, he's given up six earned runs in just eight and a third innings. And it's not a mystery. Uh, he had decent numbers in the minors as far as ERA and all that goes. But he did have one glaring problem in the minors, and it's carried over to the majors as well, and that is he walks way too many batters. In the minor leagues, he walked 29 batters in just 36 innings, and that has pretty much continued into the bigs as he has walked five in just eight and a third. Uh, Rogers, you know what? He's been, uh, he's been better on the road. It doesn't like that uh, home cooking down there in Miami. Uh, he's been better on the road lately. I think the fish can outlast them today. Uh, we'll take a shot at we'll take a shot at hers, and we'll take a shot at that Washington bullpen. Give me the Miami Marlins plus the 105. Give me the Yankees on the run line minus 103, and we'll fire it all up with the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs under eight and a half. At the end of those three, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys. Happy Saturday. Congrats, you made it to the weekend again. Apologies about yesterday's video. Uh, for once, wasn't my fault. So we'll see if this one stays up. This will be interesting. Um, all right, you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. Uh, happy Father's Day Eve to all of you that participate. And we'll be back tomorrow to talk all about it. Take care, everybody.